वेलकम गाइज टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्जीफाई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू बिल्ड अ वॉइस बेस्ड ऐप एंड द पर्पज ऑफ दिस ऐप इज वॉट एवर ऑडियो वी विल पास ओके वैन यूजर क्लिक ऑन दिस दैट विल बी ट्रांसक्राइब टू अ टेक्सट सो बेसिकली दिस विल बी अ स्पीच टू टेक्सट ऐप वेयर यू कैन यूज ए आई टू कन्वर्ट द ऑडियो इन टू द टेक्सट ओके सो दिस विल गिव यू अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट हाउ यू कैन इंटीग्रेट द ए आई इन टू योर फ्लड ऑफ लो एप्स and you can build many apps based on voice okay deepgram provides most easy and powerful api that you can integrate into your flutterflow project and convert your audio into the text so that audio can be a recorded audio or if you want to build a chat gpt like app in that case you can click the button and speak something and that will be transcribed in real time to the text okay so let me show you the demo what we are going to build today so today i will give you a basic introduction how you can integrate the ai and generate the api keys and build a basic ai app based on voice okay so let's see the demo okay so this is the demo i have attached a recorded audio file into this now when i click here that will be sent to the api of deepgram and uh, then the ai will convert the audio which i have passed into the text okay so as you can see the complete audio is now transcribed that means it is converted into the text here and here you can see the api results okay so you can see the api has sent us the results here you can see here okay so let me show you how you can do this stuff in flutterflow so i hope you know the basics and if you are not aware about flutterflow you can check out the coursefy youtube channel and see all the episodes i have uploaded and you will get a basic idea what flutterflow tool can build for you okay so how you can go to this first of all go to the deepgram.com and from here you can sign up and login okay once you log in you will see this dashboard and here you will see the api keys in the left side okay from here you can generate an api key for now i am generating the api key for one day only and i will name it as voice app ai okay i will create a key and i will copy this and okay once that once you get the key all you have to do is go to the api section and here i will create one new api call so that you will get to understand how to create the api from here you can add the new api call and uh, let's give it name as transcribe speech to text okay and here inside headers i will paste that key so that the key will be saved here okay now i will duplicate this so that i will get the url okay we need the url here i will apply a method type as post and let me show you okay so i will get this api and to paste it here you can copy the url here and i will also drop this url into the description below you can check it out okay and also the headers as well so here you need this authorization token okay so we we will add this okay authorization token space and at the end you can paste the colon so this is the api key which has been generated using the deepgram ai okay that you need to paste here and the second header which you need to add is content type application json so place this header here and inside body you need to pass something so we will pass the url model and language okay so you can pass multiple languages here for now we will pass english and for the audio url we need to paste the url of audio okay so that audio url will come from some variable right so we will create one variable here okay and from here you can create the audio url variable and that will be of type string okay and inside body you can drag and drop this variable here like this now you can click format and add the call okay now let's see the response okay because we haven't passed any audio url so that will generate this error so for that we need one url right inside the firebase storage i have added this so i will copy the audio url and inside variables i will set the default value as that url name okay and save this 
Now what will happen is when we call this API transcribe speech to text, this URL will be called, okay? And that will be your post type. So you need to post some variables and headers. And inside headers, we have added the basic authorization because of which you will be able to connect Flutterflow to DeepGram AI using this API key and content type as application JSON. Don't copy this API key. This will be rejected after few hours. So you need to generate your own API key uh, so to make this app work, okay? Body, JSON, and you need to add this body parameters. And inside variables, we need audio URL. And to make this work, I have added the default value here, okay? Now inside response and text, let's test the API call, whether this is working or not. And if we get the response, we will learn how to integrate this with the UI part, okay? So first, so as you can see here, we have we have got this response here and inside the results, okay, you will get to see that there is channels, there is alternatives and then there is transcript. And this is the complete text which is converted into the converted from speech to text okay and the confidence here is 0 0.9 and you can see all the words have been placed in different object so basically we need the transcribed text to display in the ui okay so that's what the task is now let's go to page selector here inside voice okay i have created this basic ui so you can see here there is one column inside that there is one icon button here and i have added the audio icon here okay let me show you that as well graphic eq okay inside that i have placed one container so that i will be able to see the text like this inside our demo like this okay so i have added one container and inside that i have added one column and one text okay so this text will be the text which you get from api okay so basically what you need to do is if once you generate and once you create this UI select this voice in widget tree okay select this inside the page state state management create one variable which is transcribe text and that will be your string type okay and here initial value I have added is click to transcribe so this will create one local variable through which we will be able to get the text when user click on this okay so make sure you add this local variable transcribe text now on the click of this button i have added some actions let me show you that as well okay so let me delete this okay on the click of this you need to call one api okay let me show you how you can call this and this will be the api transcribe speech to text and from here you can pass the variable that will be of audio url and this url will be the url i have provided okay so this is a basic url let me copy this one more time so that we get the correct path you can uh, provide this url from a variable as well so if you get this url from widget state or anything else you can place that variable here as well okay so the complete response will be come inside this as i have shown you the response while we were calling the api into the api call section of Flutterflow that complete response will be inside this variable okay now once we get that variable that api response is succeeded in that case we need to update the page state update the page state okay and the variable here will be transcribed text so that the response should set this okay now what will be the value of this transcribed text here so from here you can get the api result okay the response which we got from api inside that json body and inside that you need to define the path here okay so to see the path we need to go to go back to our api response so that we can see where the response is coming so once one more time here one more time i will call the test api call okay once that api call is ready we need to understand the variables like so here we have the results okay results object inside that we have the channels array okay and inside that we have the alternatives array okay 
so let me show you how you can do that stuff update state and here api results api response here you can directly you can write it like this results dot channels and inside that we need to get the first object and then we have alternatives and then inside that we will fetch the transcript okay so this will be the variable which will hold the complete audio text which is con which is coming from ai deepgram ai okay and also i have to i will copy this action and paste it here okay so that users will be able to see that the response is coming i will remove this and here i will write please wait we deepgram ai is transcribing transcribing text okay so these are the actions which you need to add now let's see and let's run this and see whether this is working or not this is very easy how you can integrate the speech to text ai into your flutterflow apps now more things you can do here is when when the user click on this you can record the audio and send that recorded audio to this api that will also work fine okay so if you want to learn about that stuff as well do comment in the comment section i will definitely work on that stuff as well okay guys so let's see the demo here let's click here and as you can see we are updating this now the api is getting called here now once we get the result you can see in the debug panel this is null and once we get the response here you can see the body is now available okay so the complete audio which was there is converted into this i hope you got a basic idea of how things work in ai part okay so if you want to integrate any kind of ai regarding deepgram or any voice related app this is the best api and this is very powerful if you want to convert this audio into the real text that will take more time more human time and if the app is the audio based app then in that case you will find it more difficult to do it manually right this deepgram voice ai will help you to get this stuff done at a very reasonable cost you have a free credit of 200 dollar okay uh, once you cross the limits you have to pay some amount that is very reasonable as well i think okay, you can check it out at deepgram.com this is not a sponsored video i personally find it useful and got some queries regarding how to integrate this that's why i am building this app here in the in flutterflow okay so if you really like this do like share and subscribe and also if you want the ready made apps like complete dating mobile app in this you have the complete dating app which is working and also the subscription plans module is also added so if you want to get that complete app along with the learning course for example if you if you get stuck while creating this app or want to add more features into this you can also get the learning course which is 9 hours 57 minutes that is almost 10 hours course there are many apps like grocery delivery mobile app in this also this is a complete app all you have to do is learn how to set up the data and launch it and if you want to add more features you can check out the complete course which is of 5 hours 42 minutes i keep updating this course i will also add more features if you want you can comment it in the comment section and i will add that stuff as well there is also online courses mobile app you can launch the complete mobile app and also learn how to create these kind of apps currently this is available at a reasonable offer you can get this and almost 50 percent off is there so do check it out at codesify.com the links are in the comment section as well okay okay guys so that's it for today thank you for watching see you in the next episode